Welcome back to our Greenfoot lessons at MrStewartsLessons.com. We're working on the Gold Buggy program again, and this time we're going to give the Gold Buggy an obstacle as it tries to grab gold. Right now, your Gold Buggy should be able to drive around with your keys turning it. Also, if you put a piece of gold down by the Gold Buggy, it should grab it. So what we need to do now is add an obstacle, something dangerous to make it the game a little harder. So let's put in a new subclass. Let's make a bomb subclass. So I'm gonna click on the actor. You I'll either right click it with click it with my right mouse button if I have a PC or if I have a Mac, I'll click it with uh, both fingers or option click it. Click on here. Okay, and uh, so I'm gonna my new class name. I'm gonna call it Bomb with a capital B. Every class should have a capital letter on it, and uh, we should um, uh, always um, we should always give it a name that makes it clear what it means. And I'm gonna look for the correct uh, sprite. So I'm gonna click on objects. I'm gonna click Bomb here. So we're gonna have a bomb image. Now, as you guys, as you all probably know by now, just putting the bomb down all by itself isn't going to make it uh, get the gold buggy. We have to make the bomb get the gold buggy, right? We have to make it, we have to make the bomb do to the gold buggy what the gold buggy does to the gold. So, I'm gonna, what I'm going to try is I'm going to go to the gold buggy, and I'm going to try copying this piece of code here from here into the bomb and see if I can make it work. So, I'm going to highlight this particular thing if is touching gold dot class get gold dot class I'm going to click my copy key I'm going to close it and then I'm going to go to my bomb code and inside my action method I'm going to highlight the add your action code here and I'm going to paste the same thing now we don't want it to get the gold, we want it to get the gold buggy. So I'll change the class here to gold buggy. Okay, so I want you to copy the code out of the gold buggy into the bomb and paste it in there and change it to gold buggy, then come back. We're going to compile it. Okay, we're going to compile it now, but it's not going to work. Um, and it's not going to work for a particular reason that I'm going to show you. I'll show you what happens if I try and compile this. I get an error. It says, cannot find the method get, right? And the method, the reason, it, and the question is, why can't it find the method get? And I'm going to show you for a re particular reason. I'm going to get out of here for a second, and then we'll come back and fix it. You'll notice that the gold buggy is a subclass of this vehicle class. Um, and so I'm going to look at the vehicle class and I'm going to see in the vehicle class that the vehicle class has some methods of its own in there. And these are methods that you're going to recognize now. The first one is the off the map. Um, and this is what returns to us whether or not we're off the map. Then we have the is touching class. This is what returns to us whether it's touching whether it's touching something. And then we have the get class, which is returning whether it gets something. And you notice that uh, th these are where the vehicle is. I mean, where the gold buggy is getting these methods from. But the bomb isn't part of the vehicle class, and uh, that's we made it that way because it's not a vehicle. Because also, but also because I wanted to show you this. What we need to do is be able to tell if the bomb is touching something or if the bomb can get something. One way we could do that is I could take this code out of here. I'm going to highlight it and I'm going to copy it. So I want you to open the vehicle class, highlight the is touching, the is touching method and the get method and click the copy and come back. Okay, so you should have highlighted those two. Now I'm going to go to the bomb. I'm going to paste it, but I have to paste it in a particular place. I cannot place it, paste it as part of the act method. That's because in this case we're not 
it's not something that's going to happen every time. It's their own separate methods. We don't want to put another method inside of a method. So I have to give, put them out separately. So I'm going to put them after the bracket that closes the act method. And I'm going to click paste here. Okay. So now we have three methods. The act is what happens every time. The is touching and get are things that it's only going to call when it needs them. So um, and now I'm going to close this and I'm going to compile it. Okay, so I want you to paste, to pause this, paste the two methods into your bomb outside of the act method inside the final bracket and then compile it. Now we're going to try it. I'm going to put a gold buggy down. I'm going to put some gold down and I'll put a bomb down. And if I see, the gold buggy runs into the bomb and it disappears. We do need the bomb to do one other thing, though, because the bomb just sits there and it doesn't really have any effect. So I want to see the bomb show that I'm dying, basically, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something. I'm going to have the bomb change its image when it destroys the buggy. And I'm going to change it into a skull and crossbones. So I'm going to double click on the bomb again. And before it gets the gold buggy, I'm going to have another method. So I'm going to hit control space. And the one, the image we want here is set image. And Now, we need a file name, but I can't, I, but what I need to do first is I need to bring the file out. So, first of all, what I'm going to, we, we're going to have a file called skull.jpg. So, I'm going to put in quotes .png. And... Then I'm going to close. Then I'm going to put a semicolon here because we have the end of a line. Then I'm going to close it, and I'm going to compile. Now I'm going to put down the gold buggy, and I'm going to put down the bomb. I'm going to run it. You'll see we get an error. Could not find file skull.png. That's because we haven't brought the file out. So I'm going to have to do something, I'm going to have to bring the skull.png into our program. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set a new subclass. I'm going to call the new subclass skull. We're not going to really create the, put this in our thing. We just want to bring the skull into our program. And I'm going to look for symbols. I'm going to find the skull. Okay. And I'm going to click OK. We're not actually going to put the skull in there, but now the skull is in our list of images. And if you look, you'll see if I create another subclass, I'm not going to, but you'll see the skull is part of our options. Now if I compile this thing again, now if I put down my gold buggy, and put down my bomb and I run it the bomb is going to turn into a skull and my gold buggy will disappear will die now we can create the whole game I can I'm going to reset it I'll set down a gold buggy set down a few bombs and set down some gold And I'll run it. Oh, I died. So I want you to go into the bomb method. I want you to put in set image skull.png. But before you compile it, create a new class, I mean, a new uh, actor, a skull actor. And in that skull actor, I want you to give it the skull image and then you can compile it.
and then you should have a working game with obstacles and things you can try to get. And when you come back next time, I'll put some sound in.